Okay, what we got here, we got us our guitar. Now, as you see, I stripped the body down. I took everything out of it. Uh, it's just a gutted out body, see? And this is a... Uh, this is what you call a PV Reactor AX. Now, AX is like top of the line, the best you could buy, the, this, that, and the other. Of course, this is a 1980s uh, PV, and it's actually a classic. It's a vintage. It's a, it's a very, very good guitar. But what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and relic this out. Manny, yeah. what are you doing? Let's see how it is. Uh, she gets to go home while I'm staying here working. Thank God I'm working on my own shit. We know the story on the guitar. We know that our other guitar got stolen. Okay, we know that we can't replace that guitar. It'll never be possible. I don't like this guitar. I don't like the way it looks. Okay, I don't like the finish. Okay, I relicked it out. Uh, it, it's a great relic job. It's a beautiful relic job. Okay, I did the Esquire cutout on it, as you can see right here. Okay, and uh, right here, if you look right there, you can see. All right, my little pal Bruno here, he's ready to go home. You ready to go? Huh? There you go. Get up there. There you go. All right, where's mom at? You ready to go? I'm washing my car. Now you're going to wash your car? Well, you need to leave Bruno inside, baby. He wanted to come out. Well, I don't, I'm trying to get this done. I got 35 minutes here on record. Now I got 34. Aww. Okay, I'm trying to explain to everybody how to fucking do this. You've done it already. Okay. Uh, our camera's almost ready to die out, uh, so let me get to it. Now what I'm going to do here, on some finishes, especially on ash wood, you can go ahead and strip it the easy way, and this is actually the easy way, is you take yourself a nice dull but flat uh, chisel, and you take your heat gun, and when you heat that paint up, you're going to see, you watch real close, you can see that the finish comes right off, okay? If you watch what I'm doing here, all right, there you go, look at that. It just flakes off of there nice and easy. Now what I'll do is I'll do this whole guitar body that way, okay? I'm going to do the whole thing. There it is right there, what? Okay, you can see it coming off. Now, I'm also wearing gloves because that heater gets real hot, but let me show you something here because i got to go charge my battery up. If you look right in this area here, you're going to see uh, bare wood, okay? But if you look right in this area, let's say right here, okay? See how that looks like a different, that's a layer? Okay, that's called, uh, I don't know what the fuck it's called. It's a sealer. It's a type of sealer that's used on the guitars to seal the grain so when you put your finish on it, uh, the finish doesn't penetrate into the wood, okay? I forgot what they call it. Uh, who gives a fuck what they call it? I don't give a fuck what it's called. Do you understand? All I know is it has to come off, okay? Now, that's one way to strip the guitar. We're going to strip the whole guitar that way. We're going to use our dull chisel, okay? If you don't heat it up, you can see you're going to have a hell of a time, okay, getting it off of there. You can use a fucking uh, heat gun. You can do whatever you want, but you got to get it off. Let me strip that down. We're going to come back and look at it, okay? And always remember one thing in life, people, right there. All right, life is good. It always is good. And it always will be good. There you go. Okay, I got my guitar, it's uh, stripped down, you can see that, okay, by the picture, and I went ahead and uh, I started sanding it, now what I'm doing, I'm uh, taking 80 grit, right there, 80 grit, and uh, taking me a nice good block here, see, right there, you see that, that's a block, okay, it's a little bit of, it's a 
It's a semi-stiff block. It's got a hard side on one side and a soft on the other. I'm using the hard side to sand my guitar down. And then what I did, I went ahead and sanded the whole thing with 80 grit. Now what I'm doing, I'm going back with 180. Okay, I'm going back with some 180 and I'm blocking it down and I'm using a, my hand, okay, on top of the block and blocking it. All right, you don't ever really want to block, you really don't want to sand that guitar with your hand due to the fact that uh, you got finger ridges here and you got your knuckles and this and that and everything else. Do you see what I just did there? You see that that too, okay? You got some of that going on, okay? And uh, what will happen is when you paint your guitar, okay, you're not going to have a flat surface. It's going to look kind of, you know, ripply and wavy. Okay, because a Telecaster or a Reactor or any guitar that's this fucking body style, you know, it's square all the way around, okay? And you really don't have a comfort zone on it, and the thing kind of digs into your rib cage when you're playing it. So if you get that uh, contour going on there, okay, like a Stratocaster style contour, there it is right there. And then on the back, okay, we did the same thing, okay, and you can see how thin it is right in this area here. It really, really, really makes a difference. And uh, if you don't understand what I'm talking about, and this is the first video set that you've watched of me uh, painting or customizing guitars or relic am or whatever the fuck, uh, go back into some of my other videos and you'll see where I actually do that with a belt sander with some 40 grit uh, sandpaper belt sander and it, I'll show you in detail how that's also, done. Also, got to do some hand sanding. I know I told you that not to hand sand it, but I'm going to go ahead and do some hand sanding on these edges right here because this is such a small, thin area that uh, sanding this type of area by hand would be much easier than uh, sanding with that block. How many fucking guitars can a guy show you to paint? How many fucking guitars, you know, does it take before it, it hits your head? You know? I mean, uh, I must have fucking, you know, 30 videos up there, uh, 40 videos of how to paint your fucking guitar, how to relic it out. I mean, come on, man. Okay? To me, this is a special guitar, though. This is a special guitar because some cocksuck motherfucker stole one of my guitars, broke in my fucking house, and stole it. I'm trying to replace it, but it will never be replaced. It won't be the same for fucking guitar, but it'll be close. And that's all we can do. And if I ever find that fucking guitar, and if I ever see the motherfucker that's got it, I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to be giving it up. Guess what? It's ready for paint. Now, one good thing about stripping your guitar down, especially, whoops, I just made a fuck up there. Don't lean on your guitar because you got sweat and oil on your hands and your stuff, and you don't want that to go into the guitar. But I got my